Yeah, when I look at the Pacific Northwest, the lion's share of houses here are either on, some on basements, but most of them on crawl spaces. What's interesting in the Pacific Northwest is the perception is nobody would like a house on a slab. They go, oh, I'd never be able to live on a slab, even though the lion's share of the country lives on a slab. Um, the challenge is going to be that as we look at crawl space and the difficulty of crawl spaces is that they're really a short basement sitting on a damp soil and in some cases contributing challenges to the building. If you look underneath there, nobody wants to go into a crawl space. No one wants to even look in the crawl space. Uh, the neighbor's cat, there could be an animal down there, and there could be insects and bugs down there. I don't know if I want that attached to the bottom of my building. So we're seeing the cost of putting in a crawl space and trying to manage it well is difficult. In many of the other parts of the country, we see what are called conditioned crawl spaces, where they make a basement, a crawl space sort of like a short basement. Um, the difficulty here is that really trying to get that done well and executing is a hard thing. So if you're going to do it poorly, you should probably not do it at all. But to do a good conditioned crawl space makes sense. Moving to slabs really has some cost benefits as well as the fact that if I insulate into the slabs, which I strongly recommend, you pour a concrete slab and it allows you to have less of that space to manage, less of the problems to come with it. The difficulty there is that now I can't put anything down there. So I'm going to have to make sure that people understand that you'll have to put in the piping, put in the plumbing, put in the electrical stuff. So a lot of things that you took for granted in the crawl space. So if anybody looked in there and said, wow, there's a lot of stuff down here, um, where is it going to go? Is it going to get translated to the attic? Is it going to get translated to another room? Or am I going to have to put it in the slab prior to pouring? And that's the preparation side. We see contractors in many markets that do slabs have become really good at having all of the trades come in, put their stuff in prior to pouring. But in the Northwest, that's not in the cycle yet. So no one would be quite ready for that change. Um, I did work with a builder recently here in this area that said, I think we're going to move towards slabs. We just have to convince our buyers that they'll be comfortable. And that's the idea of insulating under the slab, isolating it from moisture, and being careful the type of flooring you put on top. I think slabs are a great choice in this climate and could be done well. It'll just take a transition of trades to figure out how to do it. Uh, the guys pouring concrete haven't been doing slabs before. They'll struggle unless they come from markets that have. So I will see that I would say that some crawl spaces um, will move towards slabs, but it'll be a little slower process than we might think.